Greetings, YouTube. The other day I was listening to a news piece on National Public Radio that dealt with the distribution of wealth in America. Now, according to the data gathered for this article, um, the bottom 40% of American culture has effectively no wealth. They either take in exactly the amount of money that they spend out, or they have debt. Um, I personally am slightly better off than that, but not much. I probably fall into the two or three percentage points above that range. Um, I will never probably be able to retire. I will be working until the day I die. That's just the way it's going to be. Um, to get the kind of money I would need to require or retire it would mean changing significantly how I view wealth. I don't want to slave away at a job just to make a bunch of money. I prefer to enjoy my life to a certain extent. But during gathering this information, they also asked the American people in a survey, what percentage of our wealth, our collective earnings, they felt that the top 20% should control. So that's the top 20% of our society. And the top 20% um, in this survey, American people were relatively generous, I think. They said that they should control 35% of the wealth. That puts them over um, their 20% of the population they represent and means they actually get to have some wealth. Well, that's not actually how much money they control. The percentage of wealth that the top 20% control 86%. 86. That is a huge amount of money. And now that also means that the middle 40%, the middle class, where I barely hold on with my fingernails and where most Americans are supposed to be, control only 14% of our nation's wealth. Now, that steps over the line from immoral to criminal, in my opinion. Out and out, it is a crime that the top 20% of our nation control 86% of our wealth, and most of that is concentrated in the top 2%, way up there at the top, that people keep talking about when the tax reform, um, tax uh, breaks, which are about to uh, run out, are in discussion. So yes, I have a problem with this. Now, in an ideal communist world, the top 20% of our society would control the top 20% of the income. They would get an exact one-to-one -one ratio, but that's not going to happen. Um, human beings don't work that way. But if they were to control, say, the 35 to 40% bracket, that would still mean that they were the top dogs. Um, but it would also mean that the uh, rest of the people in, in our country would actually have some wealth. Uh, the bottom... 40% would probably have something in the 20% range, and the, re and the rest of the money would fall into the pockets of the middle class, which is frankly where it belongs. And I've spoken about this in the past, that I believe in a kind of an economic ecology, where if you work from age 20 to 60 for a 40-year span, you do your 40 hours a week, you are a productive member of society, you should be able to retire comfortably in your own home or if you choose to live in a condominium or some kind of an apartment in a city, your own property, um, and live out the rest of your days in comfort. Now, you may want to have to adjust that number up to 70 or whatever because of people are getting older and living longer. But we shouldn't have to worry about the fact that many Americans are never going to be able to retire and that the lowest members of our society are always going to just barely be scraping by um, living hand to mouth with never any extra income no ability to pass wealth on to their children which is really the uh, key when it comes to wealth does that wealth translate from generation to generation to generation and if it doesn't if your money that you have now will not be benefiting your grandchildren, you don't have wealth. You may have money, 
you could even be well off. But you don't have wealth, and there's a difference there. Rich is easy to achieve if you want to. Wealth is not. Wealth is the ability to earn an income off of the income from your wealth, as opposed to having to go to a job every day. Um, but we can't do that. The, ba the vast bulk of Americans, 80% of us, um, we'll be lucky if we ever get to retire. We'll be lucky if we have our own home and don't have crushing debt. Um, my wife and I are doing fairly well in the debt department. In fact, just this past week, my wife was able to finally pay off her car. So very shortly, we'll be getting a title in the mail, and it will be ours. Of course, we're going to own a Saturn Ion, which is kind of like a booby prize. But it'll be our booby prize. Do I think things should change? Yes. Yes, they should. We need, and I'm going to use that scary term that the right wing loves to use, a redistribution of wealth. The top 20% should not control 86% of, of our wealth. They should, at most, should control 40% of our wealth. And the bulk of Americans should be comfortable. They should never fear losing their home or not having enough money if they get sick, or making sure their children get a decent education. I'm not talking about going to Harvard or Yale. I'm talking about a decent, solid education, which will let, allow them to pursue the careers they want to pursue, the careers that will benefit our society, and yes, benefit those top 20%. When the top 20% control 86% of our wealth, that's very short-sighted, in my opinion. That's not looking much beyond the tip of your nose. That's not even saying you're looking beyond the tips of your fingers, because you're not looking that far into the future. You need to be thinking long term. What's going to happen to your grandchildren? You have to be thinking in almost an evolutionary scale. And it seems to me that most policymakers, when it comes to economics in America, don't think that far in advance. They don't think about much further than the next election cycle or the next profit report, which is sad and depressing and ultimately is going to doom them. Um, and I would rather not get dragged down with that. I don't want my economy collapsing again because the people who control the bulk of the wealth are short-sighted fools. I want long-term planning. Now look at, I have a high school education. I have zero college courses. I am self-educated and I can see that this is not a healthy, stable system. It needs to be fixed. But as long as that top 20% have that much wealth at their control, the system is never going to change. We, the American people, have to change it with our votes. Because I don't believe in violent revolution. I want us to do this peacefully. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think it can be achieved. It's going to mean voting year after year for people that support the voters, the bulk of Americans, and not the economic elite. Because those are the true elites in America, folks. Don't let the right wing, the conservatives, tell you that some intellectual elite is trying to control the nation. No, no. The economic elite is already in control. It's our job to take that control away from them, to wrest it from their grasp and put it into the hands of the people who deserve it, the people who have earned it with the sweat of their brow and the breaking of their backs. Let the wealth be distributed to those who earned it, not the entitled elite who just inherited it from their parents and grandparents. Everybody should have the ability to someday retire and enjoy themselves and look back upon the life they led with pride. And the bulk of us shouldn't be poor.